It's hard to recommend a laptop when you have such a good laptop out in the market itself. I have been recommending this laptop to my friends and family who pretty much call up and ask me, Hey buddy, I just need a favor from you and I need a laptop suggestion for my college. Some of my friends have already taken my suggestion and they have bought this laptop itself. This very laptop bought by one of my friend has costed him just around 69,000 rupees and roughly around the package of 70,000 rupees. This is an insane value for money in my opinion itself. An overall laptop with a good amount of performance and an overall package. But, 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 wait, I just want to speak something else in this video. This video has been divided into these parts. You can skip to any timestamp you wish to. Let me just go to the first one and that is the pricing of this. If you check on the Amazon right now, right here as of making this video, this laptop is costing me around somewhere 80,000 rupees. But if you go to your offline stores like uh, Reliance Digital and Chroma, you will find these laptops for pretty much still less amount itself. That is because they run student discount which is standard 10% Throughout the year, this offer will be running and there will be pretty much good amount of uh, banking offers as well from the HDFC bank. You get around roughly 10,000 discount or so. So doing all of this, you can bring down the price to very minimum. And that is where the game lies in. Now, this can be easily bought for around roughly around 70,000 rupees. So I'll be comparing all of this uh, features to a 70,000 rupees Windows laptop itself. 70,000 looks a little bit low. Let me bring in the big boy and that is the M2 MacBook Air itself. And here he comes. Okay, so this is my primary machine. I use it pretty much every single day for all of my tasks. The video which you are uh, seeing right now is being edited right from this M2 MacBook Air itself. But given the point of time, if you ask me which one I would pick among them, I am going with this one. That is the M1 MacBook Air itself. This has a lot of good things that I wish I got in this price segment itself. I have paid nearly double for this laptop itself. I don't have any regrets about the M2 MacBook Air, but given the price and the value, I would go with this one. Keeping everything aside, why I am choosing this laptop over this one and why I am showing you the comparison? Because this laptop costs nearly half of its price, but for paying an extra laptops money for this M2 MacBook Air, I can roughly get some of the good things out of this MacBook itself. This stands to be unbeatable even after being three years in the market itself. And that is why we compare it with a uh, the best of the best. If I am looking for a value added notebook, then this is the laptop I would choose. No matter the M1 Air has an older screen and the thicker bezels, but trust me, the screen is far better than any standard 1080p display on a Windows machine. This has got an 2560 by 1600 pixels, which is spread across 13 inches of screen, which is a really high quality display itself. Speaking about the display, let us dive into it. For the display, we have 2560 by 1600 pixels, which is spread across 13 inches of this beautiful display, which is a liquid retina display with an IPS technology, has a standard 60 Hertz display, has a max peak brightness hitting up to a 400 nits, which is pretty awesome to be used in outdoor conditions. No promotion in this laptop. And finally, it is backed up by the True Tone technology itself. In the real world, this is a pretty good overall display with a good amount of brightness for the outdoor use cases. The blacks look really deep black and the colors look bright and punchy. Great viewing angle, so overall pretty amazing screen for the money you're paying. An incredible value for money itself. Speaking about the value for money, let me just dive into the battery of this. Battery has been one of the most attracting parts of any MacBooks here because no Windows laptop even comes close to these machines itself. That's how incredible per watt performance of the M series chips are, which is nothing but the Apple Silicon itself. This laptop is like charge and forget this laptop. It has one of the best batteries. Any Windows laptop can come barely close to this laptop in terms of battery. That's because of the M1 process. It delivers more performance per watt it consumes, which means the battery use is very less. When it was first launched, it was in breakthrough in the industry and three years later, still this laptop stands unbeated. You can check how far this laptop is been 
till the date itself when this laptop is compared on an overall scale in general speaking about beating this laptop this laptop will fail in the synthetic benchmarking against most of the windows laptop in this price segment itself these are the laptop which can literally crush this laptop in terms of benchmarking take a look at the cinewinch r23 score from different laptops in the similar price segment itself looking at the m1 silicon this scores somewhere around 6500 as the score comparing it to the other similar windows laptops they come up on top because they are good at benchmarking but when it comes to real world performance i don't think so anyone can beat this m1 you know why i am saying this despite them having an higher score i am focusing on this m1 silicon maybe it is the keyboard quality that you are typing on it is the display quality that you get maybe it is the trackpad feel that you get or maybe at the end it may be the mac os which is optimized for all your applications itself speaking about the overall performance review i would take this laptop over any windows laptop in this price segment itself until and unless i have a very specific niche which can only be done on the windows machine itself i would choose this one speaking about the form factor of this laptop this laptop has a knife like design and i used to use this laptop to cut the things as well you see this table i have cut this using this laptop itself because it is having a wedge shaped design and it has an very sharp edge in the beginning itself now this laptop is so much so slim that if you put it in your backpack and you won't even notice that it is present as well you can take it on your hiking missions as well take it on the mountains sit there enjoy the music because it has got some pretty good speakers as well now enjoy the music get your work done and with the sipping of that hot cup of coffee what else do you need from a machine like this just a pure bliss of peace itself tareef to bahut hui is laptop ka now let me just get on to the negatives of this laptop speaking about the negatives of this laptop one thing that i notice that is the bigger bezels around the screen it is a 3 year old machine and the modern machines are getting a slim trim form factor of the screen which looks pretty amazing to view the content on but this has got some pretty big bezels as well and the top bezel is one of the largest itself and this is housing and 720p webcam which makes it my second point itself these all modern days are coming with the standard full hd camera that is 1080p camera this is housing and 720 camera but it has got an mac os touch to it so you pretty much manage to get a pretty decent qualities for all your video calls and all your meetings and if you take some online classes just like me it would be just fine itself no issues with that apart from that if you see the port situation on this m1 macbook air it has got an two type c thunderbolt port and an headphone jack that's it nothing else that you can connect if you are charging this laptop using one of the type c ports and you are connecting a external display using one of the type c then you may need a extension like this i have a couple of them lying around in my office which i pretty much use for everything that i connect to these max itself the m2 has an edge over this because it has got some mag safe charging and it has the two thunderbolt type c ports free to be using anywhere anytime the final question that i need to answer is should you buy this laptop in 2024 or you should look for something else If you have a budget of around seventy thousand rupees and you want an overall good laptop, maybe by profession you are a student or you are a teacher or you are a content creator who creates some basic contents for the Instagram. This laptop will never make you regret. Maybe this does not have the best performance it offers for the price, but it makes sure that you never regrets the decision by giving some good amount of battery and an amazing trackpad itself. If you are one, go grab this.